Oh god, an artist, of course. They're the worst. The god of my island, Etwa. Wait, are you like... Polynesian? I do both. I draw I draw drawings and I sculpt sculptures. That is a sentence with words in it. But it too is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. Creepy. Yeah, let me see some of your art. I hope it's lewds. Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. <laughs> when I saw offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Uh, excuse me? Pardon me? Uh, y yes, uh, I, I am still going to be playing Uncharted. Uh, just this came out today and I, I don't know, I wanted to give it a go for something to fool around in. Uh, I'm a bit am anemic, so I'll pass. Yo, girl, I'll give you my blood. Wait, can I still slap things? Level up! <laughs> Anemia clears up. Come make an offering, I'll show you my artwork. Yeah. I'll give you my blood. I guess I don't have a choice. How much money did I waste on this? Uh, nothing. It uh, is the demo, so I got it for free. Hajime. I don't want to be rude, Hajime, but... I can't... Are you... I think you're a guy? Oh, another upper. Better turn on that charm. Okay, so he he is a fella. Just looks a little feminine, you know. That's fine. Oh, another hidden ultimate ability, huh? I don't really have an ultimate talent. Lame. You're a dork. Yes, <laughs> Makoto and Hajime are secretly the same person. That's weirdly fourth wall breaking saying, oh yeah, she she's the protagonist. I slap you, Hajime? Nope. But I can look at you when you disappear. You saw Detroit today? Uh, that movie is kind of on my list, but not really. Who the dormitory? Mm. Hey, look, it's you again. Oh, oh, it's another one of these weird, ugh. Look, it's Cloud Strife. Hey, Makoto, do you have anything new to say? This must be the dormitory. Thrilling. Figured that one out myself. Click, click. Won't open. Guess it's locked. People lock their doors around here? What madness. Okay, got some monitors. Cool. Uh, I think this just shows me everything I can interact with. And also, was that a munchkin? I want to talk to you. Uh, when, when I get to you. Oh, Jesus. A weeb in the middle of a weeb game. Ultimate cosplayer.
Yeah, but most people don't buy that I'm a cosplayer, because I'm so plain. You have this strange, almost pheromonal scent about you. Jesus, girl, calm yourself. But anyone who looks at your body can tell that your pheromones are off the church. Kaede, or however you pronounce your... I'm just gonna call you Akka. <laughs> You're a creep. I don't really like being watched. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing it. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. I'm like a panda at the zoo, yo. Eh, calling a cosplayer a celebrity. Bit of a stretch. Another locked door, I imagine? Yep. Oh, I guess this is my room? Uh... I'll come back to you. All right. Here, Yumi, the ultimate maid. Jesus. Yes. Can you maybe start tidying up the school a little bit? It's gone to a bit of a disarray. She's clear headed, good at sports, an excellent student, and a maid as well. She's so perfect. Any request. Any, you say. Please, you're exaggerating. I won't complete any request. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to a night arrival nation, but it was impossible. I rejected it. What? What? How are you a maid, some weird sex slave, a murderer, and a bodyguard? E. I've only been played as a maid, not a bodyguard. E. You're like a super maid. The ultimate maid. Alright, Oompa Loompa. Yes. The ultimate tennis pro is a foot and a half tall. The man called ultimate tennis pro no longer exists. This guy sounds cool as shit. <laughs> Little babby Matt McMuscles is the former tennis pro. Using his steel tennis ball, he blew a hole through their heads one by one. That's pretty metal. If only your face didn't look like a disgusting doll. I'm gonna talk to you again. I ain't scared of you. Oh, won't say it again, huh? One more time. Ah, that's probably all you're gonna say. Can I go in your room? Yaddy yaddy. Oh, uh, won't open. Also locked. I imagine all of these are locked. Just a shot in the dark. What was that sound? Okay, that's just the sound it 
happens when I activate that. Uh, anything way up above? No. Okay. That appears to be the bedroom of a witch. Nope. Locked. Also locked. Locked. Oh, this is thrilling. One of these has got to be open. I'm starting to think one of these aren't open. None of them are open. This is a bit of a waste of my time. I'm going to try my bedroom one more time. Nope. All right. Peace out, dorks. First floor hallway. Well, look at you, tall, dark, and edgy. Are, are you, uh, Soul from or whatever the hell his name? No. Reaver? I don't know. That kid from that anime. The ultimate detective. Well, then maybe I should be playing as you. That seems like a way better school f skill for detective work than being able to play a mean piano. Death the Kid. That's the one. Short and sweet, I could I can admire that. Girls bathroom. Boys bathroom. I, I can't go in there. Ah. Well, let's go into the girls' bathroom then. Alright. Uh Am I going to watch uh the new uh Death Note on Netflix? You bet your sweet can I am. Um, anything I can slap the shit out of? You've heard nothing good? I mean, I'm not surprised, but I'm still gonna watch it. And by the time this episode airs, I'll probably would have seen it. Actually, this is probably going to go up tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Actually, Monday would be the smartest day to put this up. All right, let's talk to you. Don't sneak up on me, bitch. How dare you just call it with such vulgar language? The gorgeous girl genius who looks good and golden brain. Ultimate inventor. Oh, sure. We do waste a lot of time on sleep. If I didn't sleep, I could watch a lot more anime. <laughs> Violet Baudelaire. Yeah, pretty much. This is anime Violet Baudelaire. She just said plebs? Okay, who was the goddamn localization team in this? A slapper? Nope. All right, I'm out. Kind 
coming up on what I believe to be the cafeteria. Okay, so that's the gym, clearly. Oh my god, it's a ninja. I... What are you? You've got like eight different aesthetics going on. You've got dreadlocks. You've got like this weird ninja shit going on. You've got mummy hand wraps. You look vaguely Russian military. Nonda. Oh, of course. What else would someone who looks like this be? An anthropologist. Yeah, I know what an anthropologist is. Maybe customs in our daily life, the origin of which you do not know. That's true. I don't know most shit in my daily life. This guy looks like a creep. Sure does. Yeah. Keep out. Well, I guess I'm not going in there. Uh, dining hall or warehouse? Let's go to the warehouse first. Yeah, these things l load in super cool, but... Oh, no. Yeah, I, I don't know. Don't describe an action scene to me and then let me look at a bunch of 2D cutouts. Alright, Makoto, what's up? A huge warehouse. Can I slap this stuff? Nope, but I can look at it. Looks like a high jump bar for track and field. Is this the place? The PE storage room? Uh, well, I guess it is. Oh, I can look at uh, hurdles. I bet there's nothing spans. Yep, yeah, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. These uh, mats. Gym mats. Um. Everyone's favorite gym class uh, day. When you fly RC helicopters. Also, those are clearly drones. You screwed up, localization team. Let's look at another monitor, I guess. All right, let's talk to this dork first. <laughs> Let me touch your body a little. Hold up, sir. Okay, you're talking to that guy. You're talking to the robot. Robophobe. That's a good name. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little on the nose. A little on the nose, I think. I'm K1BO, Ultimate Robot, but please address me as Kibo. I prefer the name Kibo. Kokichi, Ultimate Supreme Leader. Uh, it's, it's not really a skill. A robot and the Supreme Leader walk into a warehouse. I don't have an end to that joke. By the way, I live with blah 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 blah. Nice. I don't know, man. Robots can be pretty funny. Studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. Oh, then you must be very familiar with Bobby Bittman. 